I'm never ready for summer to be over, but it's always good to be prepared with some lights because it's gonna be getting darker sooner and officially fall will be moving in very soon. So I have two brand new lights right here. These were recently announced by Rigid somewhere, I believe in Q3 of 2024. So what I'm gonna do is show you all the features, specs, and price on these two lights right here. And then in about 30 minutes, the sun's gonna set. It's gonna be quite dark and I'm gonna test these out. I have a garage door right over here and that will really give you a good opportunity to see how bright these really are. So let's go. Hey Siri, when does fall start? Fall begins next Sunday and ends December 21st. Sunset tomorrow will be at 7.44 p.m. Okay, that's two minutes shorter daylight tomorrow. And then the next day, it'll probably be two minutes as well. So that means we have to make sure the batteries are charged. So we'll have those lights ready to go. Let's go check them out. All right, this is the first light right here from Rigid. It's the 18 volt floodlight. This has 2,500 lumens, 265 degree pivoting head, 12 hours of max runtime, a clear white light. So I'm gonna test the light out with this two amp hour battery right here. You can just see easily clips in right there. And then right here, you can loosen this right here if you wanna really lock it in place. You just twist that down. Here's a quick look at it all the way around. See all these LED lights on there. Yeah, very powerful. 2,500 lumens, like I mentioned. So it's very easy to use. We have the power button right here. I'll turn that on in a second. Before I do though, I just wanna show you this grip. It's a nice rubber grip right there. It's gonna hold on to your hand. And then right here we have a pass-through design. So you could put some type of rope or some type of wire through there. And that way you can hang it from something. Another way to use this, we have this quarter inch, I believe it's quarter inch 20. You can put that on top of a tripod. And then you have these nail hole hooks right here, keyholes, I guess you call them. So you could put a nail on the wall and you could hang it from that right against the wall. Then we also have these right here. See how those come out? So that I believe will go like on a two by four or maybe some type of cart. Yeah, so you can see how that just gives you enough of a gap. I'm not sure that would actually fit a two by four. Let me see. All right, so I have this two by four locked in the sawhorse right here. And let's just see if this fits. And yes, it does. So you can see how I can tilt it even backwards like that. Let's try it this way. Turn the light on a minute. You can see how that lights things up. That's high, medium, and low. So that's cool. Glad to see that that will fit on there. And then also if you had some type of line going across, you can see how this would, that, the way that hooks, that's pretty smart. They have it so that'll hang on that and not fall off. And then you can rotate it down. It's very easy to find the switch. It's just always right underneath the handle right there. So if you need to mount this on anything, you can get quite creative on it. So it's very easy to quick carry around. Let's set it over here. We'll get some of the dimensions on it for you. All right, the overall height were about nine and a quarter inches. All right, this is the depth right here. I'd say it's really close to seven inches. The width on it were about six and a half, close to that. And we are at 2.12 pounds. So while I have the scale out, we might not be ready to talk about this light yet, but let's check the weight of that too. 0 0.895 pounds. Okay. You can see this is a very bright white light. There's some lights I bought, like some flashlights and stuff that have a bluish tint, and those I really don't care for. I always look for something nice and bright. That way you can really see the true colors. If you're like, doing some wiring or something, you have some reds, greens, and blues. This type of light right here definitely helps you see the color distinction between those wires. What's really cool about Rigid, which all their fans really like, is the lifetime service agreement right there. So that is the warranty. If you register within 90 days, you qualify for that right there. All right, so this is my new thermal imaging camera by Reed. It's the R2-165. So I'm gonna be reviewing this pretty soon. You're gonna see this thermal imaging camera in several of my upcoming videos as I'm doing my testing. Yeah, the back side right there, it's about 74 degrees. Let's try it this way. It's gonna be really bright for me anyways. 
So you can see how this has definitely warmed up some. Right at 86, that's about the hottest that that's going to get. So you can easily touch and handle that right there, which is awesome. So right now, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit dark out. So I'm going to show you this with the help of the light from this right here reflecting off the table. So this is the 18 volt magnetic test light. So let's take a look at some of the specs on here. Right now I have the six amp hour battery and this light really came in handy a couple weeks ago when we had a big storm move through and we lost power for about a 24 hour period. And I was able to quickly grab this, put it on my counter in the kitchen and that lit everything up. So that way I could go and find my generator and find my way around the house, get things situated. So this rotates 270 degrees. You can see right there is a stopping point and it pivots 225 degrees. All right, now as we look at the specs on the box, this has 900 lumens of output. This has 24 hour max runtime with the six amp hour battery right here. So the lumen output is 400 on low, 800 on high. And this also has the lifetime service agreement. And this is model R86901B. And this one also has a clear white light and it also has a magnetic feature right there. So let's take a look at the back right here. So you can see it has these little pads right there and then there's four magnets right there in the middle. So what happens if you're gonna put this up in your garage, let's say like on the side of a tool cabinet, these pads right here help keeping those magnets from scratching anything. So I'll show you how this works on a sawhorse over here. All right, so here's the magnetic light, and this is metal all along the side right there. So let's see how that just, so any metal surface, and then if we need to hang it on something, yeah, it's, well, boy, look at that. It will actually hook on that two by four. I didn't know that it would. So this has just enough of a bend. You can see that right there, that hook. So that will latch onto the two by four. That's awesome. So this offers you a lot of flexibility to go down, up, side to side. So that's really cool. All right, let's go try this out on one of my vehicles. Oh, it's almost a full moon. Got a beautiful night out tonight. Let's try the lights underneath the hood right here. So you might not be able to see it, but this is the magnetic task light up there. Boom. So right now the magnet is attached to the steel right there. This is an older vehicle, so I'm not sure if all the newer ones have some steel there or not, or if there's a lot of trim packages covering it. That's nice and solid, not going anywhere. I can pivot that light where I want, and that's on high. The only thing that I notice is the switch is a little bit tricky to find, so I never can remember what side it's on. So there's high and medium. Let's just leave it on high, because that really lights things up very nice in here. I definitely like that. But if I don't want to use the magnet, there's quite a bit of weight to this so I can rotate it around and to set it on something when I'm working. So you can see right here, I took the latch hook off. So that kind of reminds me of the trouble lights. So you can see how that hangs from that very nice and solid. And it just lights up everything pretty high up out of your way enough that you can work on it. You can maneuver this where you want and direct those LEDs right on the task at hand. All right, let's try a couple of lights right here for you to check out. Here's my garage door. So right now we have the magnetic clip light. Go ahead, put that on the door. So with the magnetic clip light, let's move it about 10 feet away. So you can just see how much of an area that it lights up. So right here is about 10 feet. That's what that looks like. There, you can see lights up things fairly well, but if you're doing really fine detail work, then you're probably gonna want the other light right there, the bigger light. So I'll show you the brightness level between the two. This is the magnetic clip light on high, and this is the 2500 lumen light on high. You can just see the difference between the two. So here's one last look at the lights. You can see from 10 feet away, those two working together to really light up that garage. So these lights are definitely bright. They make a good shadow. So now I'd like to know between the two work lights that you just saw, which ones you like the best. Let me know down below in the comment section. Or if you also have some questions, maybe there's something I left out, let me know down below. I'll be happy to respond. And then I also, as I said before, I have some links that you can check out So at the Home Depot. So if you want to see something that I may have left out, you can find all your answers right there. All right, if you enjoyed this video, 
please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps support the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that button down below. And lastly, if you want to see some other rigid tool reviews that I've done recently here in 2024, I have a short playlist I made for you right there so you can continue watching. Have a great day.